So today I'm going to show you how you set up your Ender 3 3D printer and do your first print. First we're going to go over the console, press the button here, go to prepare, and go to auto home. This will make sure your 3D printer knows where the extruder is and get it all aligned. Next thing you'll need to do is make sure your bed is completely level and you can do that by adjusting the wheels here on each corner and you just want to make sure the extruder is barely touching the bed in all places now we're gonna go to prepare again and we're gonna go all the way down and you need to find out which kind of filament you have and select the thing for your filament I have PLA so I'm gonna be using PLA and that should start heating up the tip and we can now see that it is already rising very quickly so this is the micro SD card and USB adapter that comes with the 3d printer and it should have all of the manufacturers files on it so let's plug it into the computer There we go. Now it'll pop up right here. Now launch the 3D printer app. Now all you need to do is drag some kind of file into it, such as a STL file. And you can find those if you don't want to make them yourself on Thingverse. And that's just what I've been printing most of my stuff off of because it's super easy and you can use other people's stuff. Now, after you insert your file, there's a few specifications over here, and you can just, they base, it's self-explanatory, you just control it by typing the amount you want in it, and then after that, you click the save to flash drive file, and there's no sketchy file business, you don't have to drag and drop it into the USB, it, always, it just goes straight into USB when you click this button. Now instead of taking out the whole USB, all we need is this little SD card, because that's what the printer takes. Just slide that into the 3D printer. Now go to your menu, and print from TF, that's the little card. And I have a propeller file right here, so we're going to print that. And now the extruder and the bed will start heating up to desired temperatures, and it'll start printing. Now I'm not going to video this whole print, because 37 minutes worth of video is something I don't want to have to edit. So assuming you've done everything right, your 3D printer should print something like this with a raft. Of course, I have, I've done this before, so this is an old one. And it actually has pretty good detail. So that's the basics on how to work this thing. Obviously, there's much smaller details that I didn't talk about, but that's for you to discover. So here are some things I've printed in the last day. Overall, it works out pretty well, and I have no issues with the quality or how long it takes. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.